Hello and welcome back to Come Geekzum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Kamea Khan is currently in progress in America, and the recent photos, which are currently out, are absolutely phenomenal. They show the lines for uh, Vic McNonia, and they are just so great to see. The lines are huge. I've got two photos here, for currently from Spitfire on Twitter, and I'm just say a shout out to them for the photos as well, putting them up so we can all see how great this is going, and how brilliant this is for Vic. I just, I just feel great about all this, you know, Vic's fans are there, they're there to support him, and they all want to meet him. This is how great it is. When people do horrible things and you know you try to get certain people banned or whatever but people still support him i absolutely love it when they still support that person and they're still behind them they got their backs no matter what kind of thing happens and they're not jumping to conclusions which i love i absolutely think this is amazing and uh, i am i i literally am overwhelmed to see how happy everyone is to see Vic. There's a couple of photos out there as well of people having their photographs with Vic. And they're, everyone's smiling. Their tweets are amazing. They're going on saying that Vic is great. Oh, what a great guy. Down to earth. And he's just a lovely man in general. I just have... I just... It's just great to see. I absolutely love it. I'm just sad I couldn't actually go to KameaCon myself. You know, obviously flying from Cardiff here to over there, it would cost a pretty penny just for the flights. But then obviously there's renting a room or whatever, and then there's actual tickets for the Kamea Convention itself. However, we do have a Kamea Con here this year in the UK. So, fingers crossed I may be able to get myself to that one. And hopefully they may have Vic coming out to that one. You never know how it is. You know, get the UK supporters to show their love for him as well. And I'm going off on a little bit off topic here, obviously, with Monica Real. Because obviously she has her signing today as well at Doc's Comics. Which I believe is something just a little over 20 odd miles away from them. of At uh, KameaCon. It's just brilliant to see how everyone is just so excited to see Vic this weekend. And they've all gone to the convention. Uh, so there is a few tweets as well going around saying that it's been uh, thunder and lightning as well over in Texas. But they're all like, that's not going to stop us. That's not going to stop us. We're going to go and see Vic. Which I think is absolutely brilliant. I hope everyone's had a fantastic time as well at KameaCon and... You know, just keep going to see Vic, you know, give him a high five if you can or whatever, you know, just let him know that everyone's there for him. And fingers crossed that he'll be able to get a couple of his jobs back and still voice our favourite characters. Sticking with the uh, the Kamea Khan, obviously Vic McNonia and a couple of other situations. That Umbrella guy and a few other people, they're still trying to figure out uh, what's going on. Uh, Renfamous has actually come out and said that she hasn't been doing anything towards uh, Tug and his family and as, as such. But the one thing to look at, though, is she said maybe one or two things, but it's everyone else who has jumped onto the tweets against Tug. With them, it's, it kind of goes to show, obviously, when Renfamous, she used to work... For the Republican Party. <coughs> Excuse me. And she actually said that this is what her job used to be. Was She used to go out of her way and she used to bait people until they got so angry. And obviously it, drew, it caused a scene and it drew people to her message. But going with that though, it's almost like the exact same tactics that... These people have done against that umbrella guy is getting him heated, getting him upset and angry. So he comes back and, you know, some of the things could be that bad, really bad. I mean, it's the way they've gone about doing it as well is it just shows you that 
the kind of people they are and the kind of mindset that goes on through their brain. There's by the looks things as well. That, you know, there's no reasoning. There's literally nothing going on. There's no way you can have a nice, quiet, adult discussion with them. I'm not just discussing about the last couple of days with people having a go with that umbrella guy and his family. I'm talking about the whole Kickvick situation, the Ice Stamovic uh, session that has been going on, obviously since beginning of January, big end of February. Uh, sorry, beginning of January, February around those areas people on both sides i will admit you know there is bad blood on both sides people are using it for certain things just to gain their own advantage or just to cause trouble which is what they like to do but the majority of everything is on the kick vic side they're the ones who have gone out of their way for nearly every single day to do false accusations sorry about that Bit of tongue tied then. False, uh, false police reports, doxing, you know, the, the fake swatting as well. However, accordingly to uh, Sean Shemon and a few other people, there have been swattings against Kick Vic side, but the only evidence we had was when someone posted photos from their own Facebook account from a couple of years ago from when they were broken in. Uh, there was a police report filed about that one. However, there is still a lot of speculation on, online about people actually believing that or not. Again, being over in the UK, the police reports are in a completely different situation because obviously we can't uh, just go and just ask for, for a police report here in the UK sort of thing. But when you look around and... You see everything that's been happening. Say, going with a lot of the kick Vic side, they do get very defensive when anything is brought up about their tweets or whatever. And they always, that's when they start jumping down people's throats. They're shouting, they're screaming, you know, writing in caps locks. And then they just become childish, you know, throwing names out there. They're saying, well, look at you, you're, you're doing this or you're doing that. And they can't come up with, which I think is probably one of the best sentences I've heard in a long, long time, is facts don't care about your feelings. You know, sometimes, the majority of the time as well, sorry, Kick Vic cannot produce any facts. I stand with Vic, again, there's been people on the on the I stand with Vic side who've done exactly the same as the Kick Vic side. They've gone and they've said stupid things. And they haven't been able to produce any facts either. And this is what hurts both sides. However, the Kikovic side has been the majority of everything. It's one of the uh, things that uh, cracks me up about Kamea Khan this weekend. Is even though Monica Riel, you know, she withdrew. And she's done a brand new signing of Docs Comics 20 odd miles away from the convention. People have gone on about it and saying, well, I don't want to draw. I don't want to go to the convention because that's where I was going to see you. I'm not going to drive 24 miles in, well, in rush hour traffic, basically, you know, weekend traffic just to come and see you for a free autograph. And that's it. So what saying, you know, she did come out Monica Real and did say that she uh, gave us a giant stack of free signed Bulma cards that are available at the convention. And she obviously, you know, when she says she's hosting a signing with free autographs for badge holders of the Kamea Con, you know, she goes, yeah, I'm the, because it's just, just written a couple of tweets by here. So you have someone saying, stop being a baby and go to Kamea Con. You're being a, to your fans by making them drive to separate locations to meet you. And she came back with, I've given a giant stack of free signed Bulma cards that are available at the convention and I'm hosting a signing with free autographs for badge holders. Yeah, I'm the bad guy here who doesn't care about her fans. Get lost. That's not... I can see where she's coming from with that part. However, I don't think you're going to get people who bought badges to go to KameaCon to see her and whoever and then they're going to drive all that time just to get there. 
and you're, all they're going to get is a signed autograph for free. That's it. It's it's not exactly that special and it's not exactly that amazing because, well, all you're doing, you're just getting a card. That's all you're getting. It's, it's like, what are you doing, you know? Is this all you're going to be doing? Is just giving out an autograph? Well, you have to pay for the autograph as well. However, all you're going to do is if you got a free, if you got a badge to go into Kamehakon, you get a free one. Wow, it's the way it's done because literally no one's going to walk around the store then. So I think I'll buy some stuff here because that's not what they wanted. They wanted anime. They wanted Dragon Ball. They wanted to go to the, to the convention and get all this stuff. But I can see why she pulled out of uh, Kamehameha Khan. I understand everything of why. But when you see other people who are in on the kick Vic side, they've still gone there. It's It shows that, you know, the better thing now that maybe she should have just gone there. And obviously her and Vic have separate areas and hopefully, you know, schedule breaks or whatever that they don't run into each other. That probably would have been the best. But hey ho, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and we'll see you soon.